Hey guys, Alex from Moonlight Tarot with your August readings. And this video is for Sagittarius, Sun sign in Western astrology and Moon sign, Moon and Rising sign in Eastern of Vedic astrology. And before I start, just want to remind you that this is a general reading. It might not and will not resonate with all the Sagittarius in the world, just with the group I'm connecting with today. If this re reading does not resonate with you, maybe my next one will be for you, or maybe there is uh, another wonderful, amazing reader on YouTube that connects with you more. If it does resonate, fantastic. I would really love if you would hit the button, the, the like button, subscribe, stay tuned for more, let me know in the comments what you think. And you also might choose to follow me to the extended reading that will be based on your love section. And uh, the link will be down below in the, in the description box as well as information card to get a private reading with me if you need one. So let's start with the general energy and I'm going to use special deck today for the general energy. It's cat tarot deck and it's a bit more of an oracle deck and it's very very interesting. It's got uh, fascinating characters and you are getting the snow cat. Snow cat is a temperance card in the original tarot and it speaks about you being aligned being in har in harmony with yourself and with the universe and um, it's the card's advice for you you just need to stay calm and smile and uh, something that you're waiting for will come like your prince or your princess or whatever else you're waiting for it's on its way and it will be here for you in the due time it also speaks about divine divine timing and let's see what else we got for you in August. So your energy in the beginning of August. What's changing for you in August? The challenge that you will face in August. Your energy in the end of the month facing September. Your money and career and your love life okay and we'll start at the beginning with what you have in the beginning of the month the star and the six of cups wow so with the star card and the six of cups i feel like there is a long long dream more like a dream person i'm really drawn to the to mm, the romantic side of those cards and um it's someone you've been you knew but most probably you are in no communication situation right now and uh, you've been dreaming about them, whether it's a he or she. The cards are not gender specific as well as the readings. And uh, you've been having some sexual fantasies about them, too, I'm getting. And uh, they're coming, they're offering you something with this, with this apple. Let's see what, what is this about? Training, Eight of Swords, <laughs> Drunkenness, Nine of Cups. So, um, there is something that you've been thinking about at night, definitely, with this Nine of Swords. And uh, um, it's a dream come true with this Nine of Cups, Eight, eight of Swords, sorry, and uh, Nine of Cups. So, something you you didn't believe will come true it's possible the person is reaching out to you this is what i'm getting one more card what's happening here in the beginning of august definitely there is either an apology coming or i know for someone is reaching out to you someone you you really really uh like a, a dream person for you a dream coming true and uh Sorry for the sounds. We have evening crazies for my four babies. 
So what's changing for you? I think those of you who were not ready for a commitment, for a responsibility, for something serious, you are starting to weigh in this possibility, like thinking that maybe, maybe this time it's worth it, but you're not sure. Let's see what's happening, guys. King of Pentacles. Eight of Cups and Six of Wands. So, I think Six of Wands is your energy. And um, some of you are moving out from your parents' house. Some of you are leaving some financial commitments behind. There is definitely something or someone in this energy of King of Pentacles uh, and you're leaving them behind. You're walking away because they were kind of tying you down. Not, let, not letting you live your own life. And you're definitely, you're the fire sign and you're following your fire, your passion. Hmm, I, I wonder why this Two of Pentacles is here. Can we get why the two of pentacles is here hmm pleasure so you are torn between having this person because you've been dreaming about them and they mean pleasure for you definitely this is uh, and at the same time you are being afraid of responsibility some of you for some of you only for for a small amount of uh, people for you this king of pentacles is um, you you in the past you've been some oh, you've been either offering the commitment and stability and long-term relationship for someone but Mm, they didn't appreciate it so now you are in a bit different energy you are standing alone you are doing your thing you are following your passion and uh, you are not ready to commit but it's a big big temp temptation this person is a very big temptation for you so what will be the challenge yeah so uh the challenge is this we have the page of cups the page of cups so this offer this commitment uh, not commitment but this promise of commitment uh this information that's coming to light that someone has feelings for you this is your challenge because we have two things connecting you to to the past to the child childhood state it's like thinking about this person makes you very very happy childlike happy but at the same time, you are not ready for for serious relationship. Two of Cups. But you want them. You want them real bad. Like you are drawn to them. I uh, feel like you are, your guts, they, they've been drawn to this person. And... Uh, one more. One more. So, uh, but you are not seeing the future you are not seeing i think that you are being protective of yourself and with this ace of swords is the ace of truth and we have the sun and um i think this person is very open is very open with you and uh you don't want to trick them you might try to start and flirt with them but i think that then you are going to stop yourself because you you understand that you saw a different future for yourself. You had different plans. You didn't see this commitment in, in your future. You didn't. And uh, this love offer, it will touch your soul. It will definitely touch your soul, but it's up to you. We will see now what's happening next. It's also about love for you. For most signs, it's about love this month about romantic love a lot of romance in the air so we have the eight of cups and the 
queen of wands so guys i do think that this is someone from your past coming back to you with an apology so it's either you left them behind or they left you behind and they're coming back and offering you love and yeah it, it hits home because you've been thinking about them you've been dreaming about them you still are very very drawn and attracted to them they're like a dream with this you see the glimmer it's like for you it's like the fallen star this the star has uh come down to earth and this person is the ep epitome of this Okay, what else we have here? It it totally confuses you because as we see here, you had a different picture of uh, your future, a different idea for your future. But with this uh, Empress and the Devil together, this is someone you see either as your future spouse or um, you, you don't see anything less serious with them and you are crazy passionate about them like crazy passionate with this devil card it's like you want them you just you just want them and it's it's a torture for you okay one more card anything else about love Eight of, eight of wands, like accident. Uh, I think that they may re may reach out to you as if accidentally or as if, uh, like, as a matter of fact, like, like as if there were no, um, no break, no breaks in your communication. And um, you will be really, really drawn to them. And you will be really confused because you want either all with them or nothing. So you will be kind of stuck and thinking and planning. But it will be a very big effort uh, from you to stop yourself not to get involved with this person right away. Because you, you are physically crazy about this person. And uh, I'm going to take love to the extent and to see uh, what else happening here. It's a very interesting situation. If you choose to follow me there, that's great. If not, I hope it was um, inspiring already. And uh, we are moving to your money and career. We have the force and the agreement, the uh, ace of swords and the queen of swords. There's a lot of thinking. And I'm getting that from this thinking, something new is emerging. Something is coming to life because of your thinking. You've been doing it a lot. Lately, it's not that you, you, you're not usually doing it, but you've been doing it more than usual lately. And uh, you, you came up with something a while ago and it's been growing. You've been kind of pregnant with this idea and now it's coming to life. It's really coming, like, you look at her posture, it's very confident, okay, it's time, it's time. Okay, what else can we get about money and career? Justice, so definitely the, the, the situation is turning into your favor. I was saying pregnancy. You've been pregnant with this idea for a while and now uh, you... You are ready to give birth. You are ready to give birth, whether it's uh, your business, maybe a sidekick, some kind of venture, or just an idea. And you are, you are almost ready to reveal it to others. If you're working um, in a corporation or something, you are almost ready. And when you do this, you see you will raise this cup. They will raise with you. It's like everyone will see the uh, importance of this idea. And uh, I'm getting that you are very, very focused and there is nothing, nothing that can um, shift your focus from this. It's though there is a lot going on with your love life, you are trying to really put all your focus here because it's something really important for you. So let's see. What's your energy in the end of July? Oh, sorry. Uh, in, in the end of August, facing September. 
King of Pentacles and uh, Knight of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. A very interesting combination. So I'm getting money. Money is coming your way. So by the end of August, you are still single. You are still dealing with this love situation, but there is money that has been coming your way for a long while. Now it's here. It's arriving. You can see it. You're doing good. You're feeling good. You have enough money to enjoy your life and you're kind of proud of yourself. I'm getting a lot of pride here, but it's not negative. It's positive like because uh, a sense of accomplishment more, 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 mm, more than pride. work ace of wands and the sun wow there's something really really big is happening for you in august and the world uh we have the ace of swords the sun and the world together it's like two major arcanas and aces very big so it's something is ending for you and look this guy is like a magician something is ending for you and it's like with the sun your flame is bursting your talent is bursting your idea is bursting and it's like it's spreading like fire i'm getting it's spreading like fire and something and it's not a momentary success it's not your five seconds of success right 15 seconds of success it's um it's something that is going to spread to grow because we have the big energy of growth here and the spreading there and it's like wood and sun together it brings fire and uh, this is something big that will end the previous cycle of your life and will lead you to something very very new something new and something very big that's why also we had temperance like something destined is coming definitely we have the end here with the world and the ten of swords it's the end and the new beginning with this eight of uh, wands new active beginning uh transformation growth you see uh they are transforming into the butterflies and they're moving to and fro and they're eating and growing again there's a lot of movement transformation communication action 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 this is actually your energy your card so um guys you are on fire so yeah, you are confused a bit with your love situation, but about your work, career, your idea, you are on fire, absolutely. And it's bringing you a lot of positive energy, a lot of emotional satisfaction, and a lot of uh, growth. It's promising a lot of growth. So I'm really happy to bring you good news. I hope you enjoyed the reading as much as I did. And uh, I will talk more with those who are following me to the extending and uh, with the rest of you thanks for watching and i hope to see you soon in my next videos love and light guys and bye